Hi. Today I'm going to be making pizza in a mug. Um, I got a recipe from I don't know what it's called. Emma's goodies. Link to um her channel down below. But today I'm just gonna be making a pizza in a mug because it looks good and I'm hungry. So the first thing is you want to find a microwave safe mug. It'll say it on the bottom. If it doesn't, please don't risk it. So the first ingredient is a tablespoon of butter. Next thing, you'll need milk. I'm going to use oat milk. Um, it works just the same. Next, all-purpose flour. Next, baking powder. Salt. Grated cheese. And some pizza sauce, tomato sauce. Tomato paste, whatever you call it. Stir with our two, three tablespoons of flour. Because <clears throat> you always do the dry ingredients first. That's one. Here's two. And finally, number three. Now we want a fourth, a teaspoon of baking powder. An eighth a teaspoon of salt and measure that. While my butter is melting in the microwave, I'm going to tidy up just a tad, as well as do a little mixy mixy to my little um, mug of ingredients. Okay, now let's add in our butter. And give that a little mix. Now when it starts to kind of form a dough, you're going to want to add two tablespoons of milk. One, two. Mix that in. So it should kind of start to have a doughy texture. Not like a too formed of a dough. And it should still kind of be pretty sticky and wet but it shouldn't be bubbly or watery. If it is, we're <laughs> gonna have quite an issue. But now, let's add our sauce and our cheese. So this doesn't really have like a measuring to it. This is to add the amount that you think is right. So I'm just gonna add a little there. but not like too much. There we go. Put this up. <laughs> now we're gonna add some cheese because cheese makes everything better. And I'll chuck it in the microwave. It should be microwaved for one minute. You get to watch the microwaving process just like fast. Or I have to sit there for a minute. So I'm gonna eat it, like I'm gonna cool down a little bit because I'm feeling it's gonna be pretty hot. So I'll, I'll show you what it looks like and then I'll wait a minute or two. It looks so good. Okay, I'm about to try it. Let's give it a little stab. It's good. One thing I would say, I'd add a lot more sauce next time. Because it tastes a lot less, a little, like, very bland, actually. So, I'd add sauce, like, a lot of sauce. You don't have too thick a layer of dough, and then just, like, no saucer and no cheese. 